Hi, this is Kevin with KGM Jam, owner of Pro Advertisers Club, with a uh, update on the drop today, August 26th. It was the sixth comic drop they've had in the last 10 days, pretty much. And um, the result, I was able to get two when it dropped, and the two that I got are comments. And here they are right here. And I had bought in four uh, four commons before they sent them out. Now, I, it took me till about 3.30. So we're talking four and a half hours for them to deliver my two orders. So um, pretty much on the six drops on the comic books, I've gotten all commons and two uncommons. And that's it. So the, uh, not as good as I want it, but what can you do, right? Now, the, the, with all the drops, it seems to have affected the market. Uh, you got the flippers right now in charge, and they are really flipping cheap. That's 250 for a comic. Uh, after the fee, it's probably, they're getting 230 220 And, um... I'll tell you anything under three, grab it. And it looks like it's going to be three, under three for about a week, at least three or four days. Uh, there's a total of 4,154 for sale right now out of the 40,000 plus. Um, and pretty much all the commons are like that except for the very first one dropped. And this one is at 950. So. Uh, this was at $3 for a while, too, so they're going to go up uh, eventually as the flippers get phased out and the the investors get in. And then you got the holders, which I, I consider myself a holder. I'm going to be holding on to this stuff for a very long time. So uh, if you got some extra money and you can get in here, the uh, it's actually stills. Like here's the uh, New Mutants. That's $2.90. That's under $3 still. Uh, all three of these that were dropped are three dollars or less right now for commons. Um, and let's look at last week's drop. I think they're over. Yeah, they're, that's at four. The, uh, the this is almost at four. This is surprising because there's less of these than there are the other two. This is the middle drop, and the middle drop is ten thousand less. So there's less commons than those other two, but for some reason. And the only one that seems Everything has come down in value since the first drop last week, except the only one that seems to be gaining traction is the Uncommon House of M one. With this, this is the best cover, and I think that's why it's it's doing well. But it's jumped up to twenty eight dollars, and most Uncommons are going for ten. And I could have bought it yesterday at fifteen. I didn't, but for some reason, there's only two hundred four people selling it. That number up there, you see the House of X, 204. That's the number of people selling the uncommon cover variant of this issue. So this is going to be hot for a while. Uh, I missed it. I'm not going to try to jump in on it. But uh, it could end up coming back down for all I know. You just don't know at this point. It might be... I think it's one of the more collectible covers, if that's what you're into. But also don't forget that this is also, when you buy the comic, you get to read the comic. So it's more than just an NFT. See that? So that's... Um, Seems to be messing up right now. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, there it is. So this is 51 pages. There's no ads it's like in a regular comic, but that's all right. Um, and from what I've understood, they're going to have updates where uh, you can read each individual box on the page. So you'll be able to see the whole, instead of having to read the whole page like, 
like there's three, four boxes there. So it would break it up in a box. You could probably going to bait me back and forth on which way you want to read it. Uh, if you belong to Marvel Digital, you're already used to that kind of and all that. So um, now I did do some research on the contract for Marvel and I did find it. And I'm going to have that on my pack report tonight when I when I uh, do that one and post it online. But uh, so I'm just going to tell you about it. It's it's a 10 year contract. And after the first five years, they have an option of getting out. And I guess they did that on case. They didn't like the way. Well, with Disney, there's two things. One, they're just going to do this until they get their own system running. Because, you know, Disney, they like things under their own roof. Or it gave them the option if they if if Vivi wasn't running things well, they could get out. And then go to another platform. So we got at least five years of Marvel. Okay. Um, and if they agree to stay, it'd be 10. But I, I could see Marvel or I could see Disney buying this platform. Or heavily investing in it. But or more than likely making their own. Now this is the drop that I, I missed this drop. But this is the, when I got in, there wasn't any drops going on. And I bought into this. Because I didn't understand how often they were going to be dropping. If I knew what I knew now, I would have held off, done it differently. But um, I still got in at a good price. I've got I got the Bucky Barnes at twenty two. It's now twenty four. I got the Steve Rogers at five. I got the Jeff. I got two Jeff Walkers at five. I've got I got Sam Wilson at five. They're all pretty much at seven now. And then I got the Red Skull. I went ahead and bought it. it ultra rare is the highest one and it's going it's been as high as 160 and it's down to 148 it was down to 140 this morning and that has to do i think with flippers they want to get some gems and and then go buy the new stuff that's being dropped but uh like i said i'm in on this for five ten years so i being that this is the ultra rare in this set could it go up to a thousand sure uh vv's just came out of beta their membership is all word of mouth right now and and you know people just picking up on what this platform does and once it gets mainstream they're really not even fully open that's i guess what i'm trying to say um and of course they got all these other contracts but they got the nfl coming they got they got dc let's go look at all the all the brands um right here's all the brands and these are all sold out by the way all the comic books sold out in 30 seconds 60,000 so the only way to buy them now is through the store that's it same thing with all this stuff now, some of these are going for five ten thousand dollars but um it, none of it's in the store anymore it's all on the in-house store superman dc and the Ultraman. Now, Ultraman, the the Japanese and one other country cannot buy these for some reason. Something to do with licensing in there. Even though I think Ultraman's a Japanese product. So, uh, once you can sell this offline or off-site, it's, that's the market probably people are going to push Ultraman to. But that is, I think, the next drop, or there's one coming up. Uh, and that's this right here, the Edo. It's going to be for eighty nine ninety nine, and there's only nineteen hundred of them, or nineteen fifty. And you either get one or you don't. And but that's right off the bat going to be probably around a grand if you get it. Uh, so good luck on that. I'm going to try, but we'll see what happens. And I don't know what the next drop is. Spider Man was the very first drop that they did. Then they did this drop, and then the comic books. So the only thing left that we haven't seen is the Marvel statues. So I'm very curious. I imagine it's going to be just like this, except uh, where, where Spider-Man's just more like a posing in a scene. The these right here are more like statues, but miniature, you know, mighty Marvel statues, and. So imagine the statues you're going to be able to do a whole lot more with. 
uh, but we'll see. As of right now, there's no word on other than the other than the uh, Ultraman brand that I showed you, and they don't even have the date announced for that yet. There's no other announcement on the next drop and what it is. But I'm betting you it's it's going to be a statue, because that's the the three things that Marvel said they're going to have is statues, collectibles, which is what these mighty Marvel Mighties are, and then comic books. So that's it for right now. I'll have another update tomorrow. I've got I'm doing some more research on the companies and the licensing to see what's going on. The names that I've found so far, very good names in the industry, but the problem that VV might face is just like Netflix. Once all the people who have realized how much and, and good it is, they're going to want to take it probably to their own house like DC or uh, the NFL. Maybe they make their own platform. Maybe Disney makes their own platform. And they start pulling their licenses off. And if that happens, what happens to Vivi? Uh, they got to start making their own stuff like Netflix did. Now, Netflix is going to make it, but they got some pretty good content. And uh, that's... That's the only real question mark about this platform right now is if they're going to be able to keep the licenses that they're getting. So we'll see. But anyway, thank you for watching. Have a nice day, and I will talk to you later.